Mark your calendars. The Kentucky Humane Society Wagon Trail event is August 7th through 9th. Yes, you heard me right. It's the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Alyssa Gray with the Kentucky Humane Society has all of the details for what will be virtually a different event this year. So it's a little different, still the same goal. We want to raise as much money as we can to save animals like little Leo here who is falling asleep for a little bit, I think. Um, but we are, we're going virtual this year just to keep everyone safe. So still a great event. You can still get a t-shirt if you register by July 22nd. And then we are suggesting you walk whenever you want between the 7th and the 9th, however long you want to. You can do a quick walk, you can get on your treadmill, um, you can get out with, you know, a few friends, socially distance in a park, whatever you want to do. And that makes it, I mean, a lot of fun because you could get a little bit of competition. And speaking of competition, <laughs> we have Megan Decker, who's your media manager. And Megan, where are you right now? Uh, so I am at Perfect Day Cat Cafe, which is one of our amazing adoption locations, and I am in their adult kitty rooms. Right now we've got a lot of kittens, but we've got adults too, so I decided it would be a lot funner to highlight some of our adult babies and show that, like, just how cute they are. I mean, look at this baby. Aww. Oh, it's a cat, so it's fine. <laughs> now, Megan, I mean, even though the Kentucky Humane Society is your employer and it, it's also your passion, but I've been watching you on Facebook. I see that the one and only KHS is Andrea Blair. You and, and then you two are in a little bit of fundraising competition, which I think makes this more enjoyable. I'm very competitive, so uh, I wasn't necessarily planning to be the top fundraiser again this year. Uh, but then when my uh, boss, Andrea, told me that there was no way I could do it anyway because she was going to win, I, I didn't like that. So now I am in the lead, but I, I question and you know, challenge everyone to join me and see if you can beat me. I don't think you can because, you know, obviously this is my passion. This is what I love. Uh, but, you know, it's all for a great cause and it's all just a lot of fun. Okay. Anybody who's out there who's competitive, I think Megan just said, bring it. I love that. Thank now, you. Alyssa, just to remind people, I mean, Kentucky Humane Society is such an important part of our community, but what are some of the different programs that that you will support just by being a participant in the virtual wagon trail? So, so our goal this year is $80,000 to raise $80,000, and that supports our life-saving mission. We find homes for over 6,000 cats, dogs, and horses every single year. And we do so much for, for pet owners to, to ensure that they keep their pets in the home, especially right now with, with COVID-19 and, and the pandemic. We are doing whatever we can to support pet owners and to assist them with food, vouchers, um, really anything they need to keep animals in their home. And then we, we take in animals from over 35 other counties and place them into loving forever homes. Tell us about this beautiful horse I know is out there right now with Savannah Grigorczyk, your outreach manager. Yes, this is Carlotta. So one of our horses at Willow Hope Farm out in Simpsonville. She is a 10 year old Mustang mare. Beautiful. Um, mm. she, she was just out playing. So now she's relaxing a little bit. She was out in one of our pastures and we usually have about 20 to 22 horses at, at any given time out at Willow Hope Farm. I think sometimes we forget even, I mean, it'll, it'll, you'll see a big case in the news and then you forget, I mean, Kentucky Humane Society rescues animals of all shapes, shapes, sizes, and varieties as well. And again, we're talking though about the virtual wagon trail. It is coming up August 7th through 9th. And again, Megan, you want people to register by Wednesday, July 22nd, because if nothing else, they may not beat you, but they'll get to wear the t-shirt. Right? And they'll get to wear it while they walk their animals and take pictures and please share them with us on Facebook. Uh, I run all of our social media pages and I love seeing all the animals. And uh, since it is virtual this year, I won't get to see you in person. But I really love to see you supporting us with your t-shirts and your dogs and your cats and just, you know, really being able to show your support for our community. Absolutely. Alyssa, well, the little one that's in your hands again, his name? Leo. And now up for adoption at East okay. Campus, uh, and we have several puppies and dogs and horses and cats available for adoption. You would just go online at kyhumane.org and make an appointment. 
All right, fantastic. Well, thanks to all of you, especially our furry ones for joining us. Virtual Wagon Trail again is August 7th through 9th, the deadline to register and be guaranteed a t-shirt. You wanna wear that walking around your neighborhood or in your favorite parks or wherever you're gonna walk. That deadline is Wednesday, July 22nd, sign up. Register for the charity walk, raise money and benefit the animals by visiting kyhumane.org.